Hi, I'm Raj Veer, founder of Code and Compile. I'm back with another video on one of the most important topics that is remote application deployment and management. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to deploy an application remotely using Vago Solution Platform. Trust me, it can't be easier than that. All you have to do is to make sure your mobile phone is charged enough. Are you ready? So let's get started. So let's imagine a scenario in which you want to deploy applications to your remote systems which are equipped with PFC 200 or similar controllers. The applications could be grid monitoring, light management or data acquisition. Now most of the time you have to prepare your remote devices for the deployment which could be a tedious process and we know that sometimes it's hard for electricians on the shop floor to prepare the controller for deployment. To address this challenge let me introduce you Wago Solutions Platform. Using this solutions platform, the shop floor electricians can deploy the applications in the controller within few minutes using their mobile phones without writing a single piece of code. I know it sounds crazy, but it can be done in three simple steps. The step one involves creating an app on the solutions platform and generate a unique QR code. This is generally done by the developers. The developers will send this QR code to the electrician on the shop floor and the electrician has to log in to the Wago app and scan the QR code generated by the developers. And then, the electrician has to scan the data matrix code located on the PFC200 controller. This will connect the controller to the solutions platform. That's all what electrician has to do. And lastly, the developer has to deploy the app remotely. That's it. The electrician can just sit back and relax while the app is being started. I will go through all the steps one by one. I am going to deploy a Node-RED app where you can see the status of my Wago IOs on the dashboard. And in another example, I will show you how you can make analytics on Grafana dashboard via MQTT. You can actually follow this video to the end and get the same results. But before you continue, you have to prepare your PFC200 controller. First, download and install the firmware provided by the solutions platform. You need to log into the solutions platform and then you can get the download link. After downloading the firmware, it can be transferred to the PFC200 via Wago Upload Tool. This tool can be downloaded from the Wago Download Center. It will take about 10 to 12 minutes to transfer the firmware, depends on your network. Once the firmware is transferred, make sure your controller has the access to the internet. To enable the internet access, you have to check and assign the DNS server IP address in the TCP IP configuration. This you can access by logging to the controller's web server. I'm going to write my gateway address in my DNS server address. This should give my controller access to the internet. If you do not know your controller IP address, you can reset the controller, which will temporarily set the IP address of bridge 1 to 192.168.1.17 and bridge 2 to 192.168.2.17 and then you can connect to your controller to further define the IP addresses of your choice. In my case, my controller has been assigned static IP address and my DNS server is already configured. Now I can log into the controller via SSH and ping Google web link. On getting the response, I can confirm that my device has access to the internet. Finally, ensure you have a Portainer agent running on the device. All right, so let's begin with app deployment. First step is to register and log in to the Wago Solutions platform. As I have already registered before, I will quickly log in. Now I have to create a new solution. That I can do by clicking this button and let's call it data monitoring. All right, now let's add a folder and call it PFC200. Now I have to create an endpoint and add our target application to the solution. To create an endpoint, first I have to click on the folder and then click this button Endpoint. Let's name it Factory and click on the Add button. Now I have to add the application to my endpoint. I am going to add my customized Node-RED application that I have already created for this video. Alright, the application is successfully added and now let's generate a QR code. That's it. Now you can send this code to the electrician on the shop floor. Now another important step is to assign someone a role of electrician in the solutions platform. This you can do by clicking this icon and add the email address. In my case, I am the developer and the electrician so I will write my own email address. Select the role electrician and click share. This will send an invitation to the electrician who can further commission the controller. 
Now the next step is to open the Wago app on the phone and commission the controller. I have already installed this app from the App Store, so let's open it. Now click on the Tools and Login to the account. Here I can see that no devices has been commissioned, so let's commission our controller. I will click on this button. Now I have to scan the QR code generated from the Solutions platform. Works great! Now I can see my endpoint ID here. Let's click Next. And now I have to scan the data matrix code from my PFC 200. This data matrix code you can find on the right side of the controller. And because my controller is connected to some I.O. modules, I will scan the data matrix code which I copied on my desktop. There you go! The device has been identified. Let's click Next and wait for the synchronization. Looks great! The device has been successfully commissioned. This means my controller and solutions platform are connected and getting ready for the app deployment. Now just sit back and relax while the solutions platform do its magic. After this magic, you will see your controller goes to run state. This means the application has been successfully deployed and running. This green indicator says that the device has been provisioned, which means that the controller is able to communicate with the solution platform. Finally, I can access the application, which is a Node-RED instance, by navigating to controller IP address followed by 1880, which is the default port number of Node-RED. There you go, these are my flows and let's open the dashboard. Here you can see the real-time status of digital and analog IOs of PFC 200 controller. These LEDs on the dashboard reflects the state of the digital input module and this chart and gauge reflects the status of channel 1 of the analog input module. I can also trigger the output module of the controller using these switches on the dashboard. So this application is just an example to show how remotely we can deploy an application from the solutions platform to the remote controller. All these just by scanning the QR codes. Because our application also has an MQTT broker running in the controller, I can also subscribe to the values and display it on Grafana. Grafana is already running on my local computer. I just have to log in and fill in the MQTT broker details. I have already prepared my dashboard so we can see the controller values right away. Looks great! Here you can see values coming from analog input channel 1 reflected on the chart and the gauge. And this bar graph shows some analytics like maximum value, minimum value, last value and change count. Thanks to Wago Solutions platform which makes application deployment super easy. In my opinion almost anyone with a mobile phone can do the device commissioning. So you might be wondering what is actually happening behind the scene. So basically during the firmware installation, a Docker engine was started with Portainer agent as a container. When I provisioned the device, it connected the PFC 200 controller with the solutions platform. When I deployed the application, the controller just followed the steps defined on the edge stack file of the app. This edge stack file was pulling the Docker images and running the Docker containers. I can show you that in my SSH terminal by typing docker ps. This gives me lists of running docker containers. If I go inside the application, you will see my edge stack file being defined here. Here I am running three docker containers responsible for running the KBus API node red and starting the MQT broker. So basically your application defines what images to pull and how to start the containers. To sum up everything, we have seen how using Wago's solutions platform, I was able to deploy an application remotely using the user-friendly and intuitive solutions platform, which not only makes the commissioning and project planning easy, but also offers a centralized monitoring platform for lifecycle management. Feel free to create your customized applications or check out ready-to-use applications available on the Wago solutions platform. So we have seen how easy it was to deploy an application using Vago's solution platform. I'm sure you can imagine that by creating multiple endpoints, you can deploy applications to multiple controllers. So go ahead and try Vago's solution platform. And thank you for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. I will see you soon in amazing next video. Until then, have fun and stay healthy. Bye-bye.